Olha aí o que, que acabou de sair aqui, episódio 2. Episódio 2 da... do Batman da Telltale, o inimigo íntimo. Vou começar aqui, que o primeiro episódio foi muito massa. A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports. Nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. You shouldn't see me as an adversary. You don't have to tell me that. I know we're on the same side. I'm glad to hear it. I thought you might be harder to convince. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. What the oh. hell? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we trained for. There's been an attack in the financial district. The biotech company on the west side is under siege. E assim começa o segundo episódio, absurdamente já insano ali, eletrizante com ação do caramba. Pequeno probleminha com a legenda.
whatever you want with me. Hey, shut it. You got what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness, and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. Or keep running your mouth, and maybe I'll splatter you all over the wall. I don't know, 10 or 12 maybe? The really big one, he, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. All right, I'll make it one more round. Hurry it up. Nossa. Vamos ver se é quem eu tô, quem eu tô pensando que é. Who are you? A nightmare. Put. Much like yourself. But you can call me Bane. A man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone. You will die alone. I can see why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead? Dad, Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. And there, even the fiercest of men were... Will pay for that. Caralho. Save your strength, man. This one is mine. This pain you're feeling, Batman. Huh? <gasps> 
clear, my friend. Keep your eyes open. Don't let anyone follow you through the warehouse. Don't worry, we'll take the back way by the docks. Safe travels, my friend. Ai, que decisões, decisões. This is Waller. Batman? Hello? Waller. Help. Hang in there. Help is on the way. Hear me. going to have to unpin him. Batman, I'm gonna need your help to push this thing off you. One, two, three. who was taken hostage. Where is he? He didn't make it. I'm sorry. Who the hell did this to you? Called himself Bane. His crew loaded the weapons onto the APCs and took them to a warehouse. I really do appreciate you reaching out to me about this. Listen. You really need to pull yourself together, because the threat we're facing is worse than I thought. While you were here, a gang of masked men hit a biotech manufacturer. Perf slipped right through our damn fingers. Every single one of them. Welcome to Gotham, Director. I've had warmer welcomes. This Bane, and the crew who hit the biotech lab, must all be members of Riddler's gang. I need to get back to the Batcave, figure out how this all fits together. As soon as my team finishes cleaning up that biotech facility, I'll share with you any intel we discover. It's a sign our new partnership is off to a good start. You're on my team now, and I take good care of my people. Agent Avesta, you should be resting. There will be time for that later. I wanted to thank you properly for saving my life. I wouldn't be here without you. I'm sorry I wasn't able to rescue your partner. I know you did everything you could have to save Blake. I hope you know that too. You were right to trust the Director to help with this. 
Working with Waller will be the fastest way to stop these murderers before anyone else gets hurt. Consider that. You should go take care of yourself. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I thought you'd be used to seeing me fly through walls by now. No one gets used to that. We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. Alfred, we will get through this. You know that, right? This storm will pass. Yes, I, I know that, Bruce, and I'm sorry for not being my resolute self. It's just this bane is terrifying. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Al. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. É, já deu para perceber que a legenda tá mais do que zoada, né? Além dos erros de português, agora a gente tem legendas em inglês no meio da de legenda em português. É uma pena. Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. Others were frozen solid, some of their limbs shattered as they fled. E Mr. Freeze. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham Brokerage. 
10 million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied, contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the Agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. You're right. John's my ticket in. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of what I want to know. Uh, well, the less you have to mingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. They'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Bruce Wayne has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Everything a criminal network looks for in a new recruit. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Batman! I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, He's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Uh, okay. It feels... Uh, no, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of... Sh Oh, uh, I am. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I'm going to ignore what I heard. No harm done. <laughs> you set me up. Nonsense, Bruce. Uh, uh, don't mind, Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? The bottle's under my chair, Willie. You're making wonderful progress.
I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. So... That know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse! That's who you are! <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I wouldn't have blamed you. Riddler deserved everything he got. Why, Bruce? Seems like you hated him even more than I did. Maybe you pulled the trigger. Wouldn't that be a guess? <laughs> Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life! <laughs> Alright, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. Okay, fine. You're right. I'll leave him be. Go away, Willie. What are you... Screw you! Nobody <laughs> disrespects me! No one's making a fool out of Willie! Not even you, John! Easy, Willie. I can give you money if you just leave John alone. A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. This cash could buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you, when you put it that way. Thanks, Wayne. Let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, handsome. Buy me a drink before you go? You're following me? Waller just wants to remind you. Stay on the clown and get to Bane. Whatever happens, keep your eye on the prize. Bruce, be careful. Meu Deus, essa história é muito nova, é muito louco, muito louco isso aqui. Oh, cool. They're expecting you. Bruce, um, wow, <laughs> one, one more thing, you can't tell anyone this, this is big, huge, <laughs> I think I'm in love, it's, it's an odd feeling, 
at, at first, I, I, I thought I had some kind of disease, but uh, no, I, I think it's love. Love? Love is for suckers, John. Whatever you're feeling, just shut it down. You don't need it. I thought you'd be happy for me. Like, like maybe we could have a nice moment, you know? Between friends. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but, uh... If you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Oh, damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. No, look, you're doing it wrong. Red's the battery, yellow's the starter, spark one on the other. You are literally my hero, Bruce. I mean, wow. Hmm. Uh. Turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. <laughs> That's a pretty good reason. I like a guy who's good with his hands. I'm just joshing you, rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure. I can see the funny side. See, I told you. Bruce is a good sport. Wouldn't he says you're chomping at the bit to meet us? I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? The agency is after us both. After the bombing, they've been sniffing all around Wayne Enterprises. We should work together to get them off our backs. Sounds to me like you just bring more heat. Bruce could be a real help to us, Harley. You should have seen how he took out this guy in the bar. He played him like a Stradivarius. <laughs> Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushie. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute. You're sweet on little old Puddin'. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? You shouldn't. You can't trust anyone. Not in our line of work. 
Ain't that the truth? You're not what I expected. Still, you gotta show me you got what it takes to be part of our... pact. Oh, gee, thanks, Blood. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucie? Ain't that the gist of it? <laughs> I was just kidding around. I, I didn't mean anything I said. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta stand by your words or you ain't nothing at all. It's okay, Bruce. I want you to know, the feeling's mutual. Nossa, eu tô jogando esse jogo todo errado. Eu tô muito confuso. Oh my god. That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I told ya. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level about the agency. Maybe I'll even vouch for you with the rest of the guys. What do you want with the Phalanx Key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty facey. It's okay, Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? I'll do whatever I think is necessary. That's how this gets done. Sounds like Bruce has got it covered. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Deus do céu. Ah, Mr. Wayne. Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> Is everything okay? Well, no rest for the weary. Yeah, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private property. <laughs> 
really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It oh, he's still a Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey. You. This ain't your stop. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Just go wait in the car. I can do this alone. I don't think you're getting it. You ain't the one in charge. And you ain't the only one allowed to have fun. Didn't your mama ever teach you about Sharon? Now that you mention it, no. She never had the chance. <laughs> Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. Uh, prospective clients. At this hour? It, well, they have to catch an early flight. I want to buy Wayne Enterprises. Bruce says he'll give me a generous deal. Oh. Well, no one ran this by me. That's because he's giving me your job. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> Your friends don't suit you, Bruce. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Let's just stay focused on the task at hand, shall we? This is right. We are people with purpose. We're here to get the phalanx. Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moments. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick-tock. What's the holdup? Squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. <laughs> 